Here's my current problem, right? There's many things I would like to do on any given day. Today, I'd like to particularly watch a movie. Go to the cinema. I haven't been to the cinema in what, like two weeks? Two weeks? But the other problem I have, right, is I could go to the cinema, I could watch, now on my list of current movies that I'm probably thinking about watching, is that new Will Ferrell one with Amy Poehler where they open up a casino in the back of their house or whatever. That looks cool. I kind of want to go see Despicable Me 3, but I want to watch a movie that I could review and I don't want to review Despicable Me 3 because I would just write, banana, banana, copy paste spam. Banana, no, 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 no. That made me laugh. So, I would just, I would like to watch something which I could write a review for, because I haven't wrote a review for a couple weeks either, obviously. But the other option is there's that new Netflix movie, one, um, the new, what the fuck is it called? Okja? Okja. Okja. It was like one of my most anticipated movies of the year, and that's a straight to Netflix movie, so I could just watch that. It's a weird time, it is a weird time when I'm like, oh, a new release movie is right on Netflix. Like a big budget, like one of my most anticipated movies of the year is just straight up on Netflix. I don't have to go to the cinema to watch it. It's a weird time. We will live in a really weird time. It's a weird time. We're gonna get to movie time. I'm cooking food first. Um, this box isn't that interesting. I know what's in it. Never cut wood, Dylan. Never cut wood. Honestly, I don't think, look at the amount of space that's in there. Three or four of these in there. Gee, nonetheless, it is hot purple and I do like the colour. Here's the problem with watching movies at home, especially like ones that are on Netflix that are supposed to be treated like, I'm like, oh, this brand new movie I'm really excited for is on Netflix. I have to watch it at home where there's always the chance of being distracted by your phone, what's happening outside, what's happening outside over there, what's happening on this thing, oh my computer just lit up, oh there was a noise. So many distractions, one of my favourite things about going to the cinema is it is, I turn my phone off and I expect everyone else to shut the fuck up and there's zero distractions. Like the world could be burning outside and they wouldn't know. Look at this shit. Maybe we won't watch anything. <gasps> The fuck? Huh. Food, 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 food first, and then we'll, we'll watch this. Pause, you fuck. Ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together for the one, and the only. I think I cried like two or three times in that movie. Great movie though. Um, I will be writing a review eventually and that will be on theexplosionnetwork.com. Read that I suppose. It's a confusing movie at times. It has a lot of elements that are... It's... It's... Tr it's trying to do a lot of things that movie and it's really weird. It feels like it should be a kids movie. At times it feels like it's a Studio Ghibli movie but not animated. But then there's a lot of F-bombs and stuff in it and at the end it gets very dark. It's, it's a very different movie, which I, I quite like. I'm a fan of that director. Um, if you watched Snowpiercer a couple of years ago, that was on my top 10 list the, the year that movie came out as, um, as well, 2014, I think. Or was it 15? Anyway, a few years ago, Snowpiercer came out. Fantastic movie, it was on my top 10 list for that year. That's the new film. Um, don't want to go too far, but I'm currently like, there's like nothing else I've watched this year. I have to think about it more, but I'm quite a fan of that movie. I'd suggest checking it out. Everyone can basically check that out. Netflix. Netflix. But that is my number one, my current, like, coming straight off the, the cinema chair slash bed um, thought is. That's a really weird movie that I think it might have worked better if they had tried and played it off like a live action Studio Ghibli movie and lose the F-bombs and stuff like that and kind of make it more family friendly more accessible to kids but still keep some of the deeper undertones. Also that movie kind of makes you want to become a vegan which is hard for me because I like bacon and stuff and that's about a, like a pig thing. It was a very conflicting 
very conflicting weird, <laughs> very conflicting weird movie to watch. Um, if you like animals, um, I think you should watch it. If you like pigs, I like pigs. Pigs are cute, which is also another part of. It's like a weird. It's like pigs are so cute. I love pigs. I like bacon. I'm fucked. I'm basically fucked. <sighs> it's, it's hard. Um, which makes that movie really hard to watch as well. Um, Okja. 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 Right, well, I was trying to think. I didn't think I'd have to leave the house today, but I just went to like grab out a notebook. I have been looking for a reason to leave the house, to be fair. Because I was looking for, I was looking for a reason to leave. Because I kind of wanted to at least get out for a little bit, do something. And I was like, oh, I don't want to go to shops. I don't want to go look in shops and then I just spend money and I'm not, I'm not spending unuseless money for no reasons anymore. But I just went to look and you know, like a little, like $2 packet of just shitty little notebooks. I'm out. I'm sorry everyone. Debacle. Dude, thunderstorm. Um, there's sauce on my back seat. I fucking cleaned this car yesterday. I got sauce on my back seat. Well, not yesterday. I get, I get sauce on my back seat literally a day or two after I finished cleaning. Somehow. How to get on the back seat? How did it even get there? You know, like. What's going on? Oh, for fuck's sake. I fish with it. Please have a notepad. Please have a notepad. I have one. Please have a notepad. That I have one. Look, Dylan just went to fucking JB Hi Fi, Office Works, and Kmart, and all he brought was some nut sultanas and a couple fucking notepads holy shit it is fucking unbelievable look value pack of five you just you just can't. 